one is getting thrown out. No, he was like, I don't, we'll, we'll see oh, about that. Him like, yeah, he was like, we'll, we'll see about that. Yeah. He's like, I want to fight back in eighth grade. You don't test me, buddy. What's going on? It's your boy Cynthia with the Intel, and you can already see Rakai is in the building. What's going on, champion? Hello, governor. Hey! Doctor Who season four episode ten. We are on the tail end of the David Tennant saga. We, this episode on IMDb is a nine point one out of ten with over ten thousand votes. That should tell you uh, uh, how excited we are about jumping into this. Make sure you stay to the very end because you know me and Rakai. We're gonna chop it up, have a bit of a back and forth, if you will, over the things we've enjoyed and the things that you know we may be scratching our heads about. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Said. No, sapphire waterfall. It's a waterfall made of sapphire. It's enormous jewels. Yeah. Look, she deserves a vacation. Yeah. It says in the brochure, this glass okay. is 15 feet thick. All right, I give up. I'll be back for dinner. We'll try that anti-gravity restaurant with bibs. That's the day. At this point, I wouldn't believe anything, like... Because <laughs> you know some drama coming. Allons-y. I'm sorry. It's French. So let's go. Fascinating. She like, what is Ooh. French? No, and the fact that she was a little uh, cross-eyed. She was... They call it the sapphire water, but it's no such thing. Sapphires and aluminium oxide. Glacier is just a compound silicon with iron pigmentation. Oh, talk that science. Mm -hmm. That's how he flirts, huh? Hobbs, Professor Winfold Hobbs. Hello, Mr. Hobbs. Oh. And I'm Dee Dee. Dee Dee Blasco. <laughs> Leave Dee Dee alone. Look at all these red shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Come and sit with us. Look. Oh, she act they actually have on red shirts. Red and <laughs> Thank you for traveling with us. And as I used to say in the olden days, wagons roll. Well, I wonder what's going on. Did happen you know something season? witch? Something witch canyon? Did you see that? Just really for the youngsters, a rare treat to the animation archives. Four hours fun time. You ain't lying. That's an archive. Goodness. Yeah. I'm like, That's this just is sensory overload for me. <laughs> that is a lot of uh, information overload, like for no reason. Well, yes. that's a mercy. Uh, I do apologize. That's a mercy. And very. <laughs> Look, like she like, I saw that. What do we do? We've got four hours of this. Four hours of just sitting here. Tell you what. Talk to each other. We'll have to talk to each other instead. Yeah. If they only knew right. what the future held, like about six more right. years from now. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> 98 clicks later. Just a second year student. But I wrote a paper on the lost moon of Poosh. Professor Hobbs read it, liked it, took me on his research just for the holidays. Well, I say research. Aren't you just adorable? Perfection and carrying. But it's all good experience. Did they ever find it? I'm trying to tell you, I'm a, I'm a sucker for a good dimple. <laughs> She's got that dimple on that one side. That is... No, it's just me. Oh, I've done plenty of that. Traveling on my own. I love it. I do too. Quiet as kept. Getting used to it. I found myself sick. I have very me. rarely traveled on my own. I, I, I recommend it. Not all the time, obviously, well, but. Well, I'm at the point where I'm. I'm at the point in my life where I wouldn't mind doing it. Based at you. Yeah. But I do enjoy sharing stuff with other people, so. Yeah, it's not like shared experience. That, that is a fact. So, this is midnight. Do you see? Bombarded by the sun. Ex tonic rays, raw calvary. Oh, he in his bag right now. Look. Yeah. She got the slides. Before the Leisure Palace Company moved in, no one had come here in all eternity. No. I don't believe that. I know the when you say stuff probably... like that. Even the leisure palace was lowered down from orbit. And here we are now, crossing midnight. That's a touch. Hmm. Careful what you ask for. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's just that moment. He knew he effed up. <laughs> we there? We can't be. It's too soon. No, they don't stop. Crusader vehicles never stop. If you could just return to your seats, it's just small dinner. Uh-huh. Oh, thanks, Jethro. In the middle of nowhere. That's enough. Now stop Ladies it. Ladies and gentlemen, and variations thereupon, we just... 
<laughs> variations thereupon. Delay. The driver needs to stabilize the engine fetus. Perfectly routine. So if you could just the engine fetus. Insurance. Let's see if we can get an early assessment. So, what's the problem, driver? <laughs> that psychic piper is the is is the lick. Boy, is I wish I had that when I was in college mm -hmm. and I was trying to get in gloves. <laughs> mm -hmm. Doesn't really make sense, does it? Sorry, I'm a doctor. I'm very clever. So, <laughs> he said, like, "I'm a doctor. I'm very clever." Well, since we're waiting, should we take a look outside? Say so what? You said go outside, huh? Running. What? Towards us. Uh, doctor, back to your seat. And uh, not a word. Rescue's on its way. Mm. Careful. But they're micro-petrol engines, aren't they? I don't bother the man. Your father was a mechanic. Micro-petrol doesn't stabilize. What does stabilize mean? Flim flam. Yeah. Younger. We could stay breathing for 10 years. There you go. And I've spoken to the captain. I can guarantee you everything's fine. Mm. Mm. Oh. I shouldn't have said uh. that. <laughs> then what was that? It's just settling. Rocks. Could be rocks falling. What I want to know is how long do we have to sit here? Look at his face. Sorry, but the light out there is X-tonic. That means it would destroy any living thing in a split second. If it... Yeah, but that's only if you have one version of a living thing. Yeah. There's all types of beings, you know, you're talking about space. It's, some can be made out of gas. It's moving. Is it inside? What's behind that door? It's doing the door. There is no it. There's nothing out there. Can't be. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Yeah. Ah. Uh, that sounds like it just got in. That dog on 200 weight hydraulics. Stop it. Don't encourage them. What do you think it is? This dog. Mr. Kane, better not. No, stop. Stop. Stop touching them. Do you hear that? It did it three times. Oh, it answered. It did it three times. All right. All right. All right. Everyone calm down. Everybody it answered. I wouldn't even be close to that dog, for real. You must insist. I would I would hit it with a smooth beat. Boof. Get beef. But the act. Nah, do that. She said she'd get me. Stop it. Hey, Stop. calm down, Karen. Oh, if somebody don't hit her with a Valium or something. Mm, mm, mm. Look, she is just causing hysteria for no reason. Listen, if something do break in here, can it take you first? It's coming for me. It's coming. What did you do? Uh, Watch no, her head hit no. the button. Oh no. Woo! She talking about it's coming for me. Who are you, Satan's little sister? Like, uh, what did you do? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you owe these aliens some money. What's going on? Everyone else? And see? Like that's the oh. thing. Why would you even say that? Have all right. Look, 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 look. Yeah. Hey. Torches. Everyone take a torch. We saw her again earlier this season too, briefly. Yeah. Yeah. We've seen her a couple times. Yeah. Sweetheart Trying to talk to us through the multiverse. Uh-oh. Who did that? They've been ripped up. Yeah, but why is she sitting there like that? It's all right. It's all right. It's over. It's never over. <laughs> oh no. This is the driver. We lost the driver. Hello, like y'all lost the whole cabin, yeah. The whole cabin's gone. Cabin can't be gone. Oh, yeah, say. oh y'all shut up. It loses integrity. We're stuck here. Dang. Right, yes, sorry. Look at the medical thing. Why would she turn around? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's she doing? When would she turn around? Sylvester, this is Sky Sylvester. I don't, I don't trust Sorry. it. I don't trust it. Sky is God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't poke yeah, the bear. Yeah, she's going to turn around. She's going to beat a monster. That noise but how? <laughs> how did it get in? It stopped. Oh, thank God for that. But what if it's not outside anymore? What if it's inside? Inside? Where? Right. Right. This reminds me of John Carpenter's The Thing. Uh, the Thing, yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. 
right now. Shit gets stole on immediate. Yeah, some off. Some off. Oh, no. Like, she don't recognize humans. She don't know what she's looking at. She's mimicking. Yeah, it's the thing. Mm -mm. This guy gone. What is she doing that? She's gone mad. She's gone mad. Stop it. Stop it. I said stop I it. I could stop it. I don't think she can. I don't think she can. Why don't y'all stop talking to her? Shh, 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 shh. All of you. My name's Jethro. My name's Jethro. Jethro, leave it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her to stop. Tell her to stop. She's driving me mad. She's driving me mad. Stop. Because stop being a tongue staring at me. You're a trick. Stop. stop. Why don't y'all shut up? <laughs> That's a bit better. What about the rescue? How long is it going to take? Yeah, she stopped repeating. Has she learned enough? Suggest we all calm down. This panic isn't helping. Look at Jethro. He like I ain't taking my eyes off of her. I'm with me. Oh my God. Biff, what's she doing? She's repeating. At exactly the same time. That's impossible. That's not. <laughs> Roast big bananas. The Medusa cascade. She even moved back when he moved back. <laughs> See how she's even moving? First she repeats, then she catches up. What's the next stage? Next stage of what? It's not her, is it? Mm. It's not Mrs. Sylvester anymore. I don't think so, no. That is that's a good she's point. What is the next stage? It must look like a goblin man. What's that supposed to mean? It's a poem. Christina Rossetti. I don't know that one. That's creepy how she's looking at people. She was the most scared out of all of us. Why? Maybe that's what it needed. That's how it could For the last time. Jethro's smart. Yeah. On the surface that's how of midlife. most that's people how think about slackers. Absolute definition of life in the universe, but perhaps the universe has smart, ideas though. of its own. <laughs> I like that. Perhaps the universe has ideas of its own. As it happens, mm. yes, I am. Yes, I am. So, that's decided. We stay back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. Look at her. Look at her eyes. She killed Joe and she killed Claude. Listen. And when they... She's still doing it. You clearly going to be fired as a mechanic. Stop, sweetheart. Do you want to stop? <laughs> These people are dumb. No one is getting thrown out. No, he was like, oh, well, we'll oh, see about that. Oh, he looked that. at him like. Yeah, he was like, we'll, we'll see about that. Yeah. He's like, I want to fight back in eighth grade. You don't want to test me, buddy. <laughs> I wouldn't risk the cabin door twice, but we've got that one. All we need to do is grab hold of her and throw her out. Oh, listen to this mutiny. And if it's come inside to discover us, then what's it that? This little bunch of humans. What do you amount to? Killers. Yeah. Could you actually murder any of you? Hmm. Are you better than that? Mm. He learn. Yeah, that's true. But and I've they came also, to that conclusion real fast. But I've also watched uh, John Carpenter's uh, The Thing. And, um, I do it. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> when we get back to the base, I'll be there to contain it. We Good point. Much so far. He's just standing at the back with the rest of us. She's dangerous. Oh, this is a very... Very good Ooh. look at humanity. So far, at last. Thank you. Oh, God damn it. Don't make it a third. These people let fear take over. Thank you. Real fast. If you try to throw her out that door, you'll have to get past me first. She was like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just traveling. I'm a traveler. That's all. Like an immigrant. Who are you talking to? Like an immigrant. <laughs> Peter Summer, who's that? Oh. Ooh -wee. To that sky woman, the two of you together, I saw you. Yeah, but we all did. And you went into the cabin. What were you saying to her? Ah, this is this mutiny. After, how did you know what to do? Because I'm perfect. I'm smarter than you. Shoot. Yes, that's not what I meant. But if you're clever, then what are we? You've been looking down on us from the moment we walked in. Actually, yeah. Oh. Come on, just listen to yourself, please. Do you mean we throw him out as well? <laughs> you knew that was coming. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. <laughs> if it was you. Damn, boy. Sister boy be like, yeah, hey, you know. We could For bodies. somebody that, that's not about that life. <laughs> They get ready to get a different doctor. They keep on. In charge, you should be the professor. He's the expert. So, just look. You keep out of this, Jethro. Look at her. She stopped. Yeah, because y'all kept talking. She didn't learn now. She got all the information she needs. When did she? 
No, she doesn't. She's, she's still doing, doing it. it. She looks the same to me. No, she doesn't. She's only doing it to the doctor. You're talking and she's not. What about me? Is she... Look. Look at that. Because she knows he's the brightest one in the room. Mm. Not me. Nothing. She wants to be the doctor. What are you doing? She's still doing him. Doctor, it's you. She's only copying you. Yeah. Because I'm clearly the smartest of the bunch of you. They're together. How do you explain it, Doctor? If you're so clever... I don't know. Sky, stop it. Or maybe she's doing it because I am the most clever, are we? Look at the two of them. <laughs> Look at the two of them. Cleverest voice in your home. Why? Because I'm the only one who can help. I'd love that to be true, but your eyes... Mm. So... What do you think? Do we have a deal? Oh, she said it before him. Yeah. Wow. She spoke before he did, definitely. He's copying her. Doctor, what's happening? She might be making him speak. Look at his face. He's repeating now. He's the one doing it. It's him. Surprising. Mrs. Silvestri. It's trying to get in here. Mm-hmm. Listen, coming back. It's me, it's me. <laughs> Look at his face. He's what happened? Look at her. I still don't trust her. Like, Look at me. I can move. Look at me. I can feel it. That's not miss. That's not sky. Okay. Help me. Help me. Professor. Professor. Mm-mm. Get me away from mm -mm. him. Please. The dog is like, don't touch mm -mm. her. Don't touch her. Thank you. They've completely separated. It's in him. Do you see? No, it's not. No, it's not. They are stupid. Oh, it was so cold. It was so cold. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. I'm so Look, he's about to tear up. Look at. Must have scared you so much. I must have scared you so much. <laughs> oh, the second person touched her. Mm hmm. But it's gone. She's clean. It passed into him. That's not what happened. Oh. Just leave her alone. She's safe, isn't she? No one touched her now. It's inside his head. It's inside his head. Look at her. Mm. And the mechanic. And now it wants us. And now it wants us. Mm -mm -mm. What? Until you came. Until you came. Body so hot. Body so hot. With blood. With blood. And pain. Oh Do you hear her? Like... Saying it. But you can shut up. But it's not him, it's her. He's just repeating. Yeah, dummies. So did I. You did it. Went from her to him. You saw it, didn't you? Mm. Oh, don't be stupid, Jethro. Of course you did. I suppose he was right next to everyone. This this group think is on my nerves. Like Ooh this, we. they're just a mob on some stupidity. Is this is this is a difficult thing to do for actors? The mimicking and stuff. Yeah, they got the bickering mm -hmm. down pat. He makes you fight. He makes you bite. Creeps into your head. Creeps into <sighs> your head and whispers. And now and now she gaslighting him. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> we should do it now. Just talk about it. Just, 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 you watch me. And he knows right now the doctor can't do nothing because he's frozen. He hooked that with his toe. Hold on, with dear, holding on for dear life. That's the oh. way. That's the Listen. Way. You can do, you can do. They would have had no delay throwing Chuty out. <laughs> She's taking it from Oh, she about that action. Oh! It's good. Wow. It's good, it's good, it's good. It's good. It's good. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, me and her, we'd have had a long talk. Long talk. Nah, ain't no talk. Ain't no talk. <laughs> Just the pause. Her and her husband. Yeah, her, her, her and her husband. Get, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's be clear. The whole family. Mm -hmm. We got the pause. <laughs> and if I was this little girl right here, the, the doctor, I'd hook her up. I'd take care of her. Yeah. 
But look, Listen, Donna, we got another. I'm find uh, you a job. <laughs> look a job at you. with a million dollar Can you get salary. The pause too. Oh yeah. Yeah, he gonna be cleaning the bathroom at Walmart when yeah. I get done with him. Shoot, it's like as soon as listen, I catch my breath. Listen, listen, listen these people right here. <laughs> if you think he was mad at the family of blood, I'm going in on these people right here. I ain't trying to hear sorry. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm, you shut your face, Karen. Dang. That's an interesting social commentary right there for you. What was her name? Dang. Don't nobody know. They don't care. Wow. I didn't even realize exactly. we didn't get a name. And I'm like, I'm so glad I didn't go with you. <laughs> I knew I'd have to go with you. <laughs> Most of bad. No, don't do Don't that. you start, don't you? Mm -mm. Done. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're gonna see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you wanna watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Sintel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription. So you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. All right, yo, that was good. That was good. It's good because that was, that was some unique that was a difficult thing to, to pull off for the, for the actors and actresses, uh, especially it really uh, was. the the young lady that was, the, excuse me, the older woman who the was Scott. doing, yeah, yeah, that was doing mm -hmm. the, the quotes back and forth. Really well done. And you don't talk about like unique. I've never seen that before. You know, sometimes, you know, they say there's, there are no new stories, you know, or that, or that old saying there's only 12 stories and different variations of those 12 stories. This was something unique for me. Like, I can't really think of anything outside of, you know, um, we were talking about uh, John Carpenter's uh, The Thing um, mm -hmm. regarding like a, a, an alien uh, taking over and people not really understanding, you know, how that functions, you know. Um, dope, dope, dope. Uh, I understand why it was scored so high. Um, we, yeah. did, we did kind of think that maybe there could have been a continuation of the previous uh, two episodes. I'm glad they didn't go that way. This is its own thing. How are you feeling so far about what we've seen so far? Uh, I agree with everything you just said. Like this right here really stood on its own. Um, my hat's off uh, to the actors and actresses that pulled this scene off. Yeah. Um, because it, it seems like it would be easy to do this and it's not because it's a matter of timing. Yes. Um, everyone on the set has to know their lines and they have to, the timing, especially for the lady who played Sky, Miss Sylvester, uh, yeah. whatever, the timing, especially when she got ahead of him, um, the despair, the fear in David Tennant's face when he got frozen, when he got paralyzed and stuff was just, was outstanding. And I was right that I hadn't. I have not seen that dude in anything else. I'm sure he's been, uh, his name is Colin Morgan. Oh, and okay, he was, okay. he was the, he was a titular, titular character titular. in a, in a TV series called Merlin. Um, ah, I do remember that. And he's been yeah. in a couple other movies and things like that beyond that. But I, I don't know why I remember that. Cause I haven't even seen that show, but yeah, um, I just knew he looked familiar, but this this was written by russell t davies and this was to me this was uh, impressive especially yeah. i don't know if you know he read the stephen moffat the couple episodes before and got inspired <laughs> but like, this oh, was <laughs> this yeah this was a um yeah. this was a great episode and it's highly rated and just for i cannot wait until we do it um the next episode is one of the ones where I put out a poll on my page mm -hmm. to say what are some of people's favorite episodes. Yeah. The next episode rates up there in, you know, top five favorite episodes of all time for all the Whovians who took part in the poll. So mm. all right. Well let's 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 uh talk about some of the social commentary. One thing I do love about the Hoovers, um, especially in the earlier episodes, excuse me, in the earlier seasons, is that uh, they did a really good job of having something to say about you can apply what you've learned in the storytelling to kind of like what's going on in real life i know we're here in the states we're in, we're in an election year where opinions can be swayed vitriol can be gained 
pointing fingers at who's a villain and people being demonized happens very, very quickly this time of year. Um, so I'm curious as, is there anything that you pulled Rakai on the social commentary of literally listening to an echo chamber, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, what do you think the writer might be trying to say? I, I think the casting was good regarding like the, the technical side of like learning some of the lines, but we have lots of different walks of life. We have minorities, we have women, we have old, we have young. Um, each, everybody's trying to push their own ideology on the other, on what they believe is right. Some people taking action, some people showing character. It's a lot of layers that went on with this conversation. Does any of that kind of like move you into any way of thinking as what the messaging could be? To me, the, the messaging, and of course, as you know, I will be doing a deep dive. <laughs> um, but for this, what I saw immediately, um, mm -hmm. and I think I said it a few minutes ago, but I think majority of people just live their lives like they know a little bit about what they know about you know and that's just that's good enough for them you know i get up i go to work you know i deal with my boss i deal with the kids i deal with my spouse or whatever and i just live my life go to home depot later and do some stuff for the lawn but i'm just living my life and the thing is in this situation including the professor the one who you would assume mm -hmm. is the smart guy mm -hmm. nobody actually took the time to think mm. no one stopped to think you know my grandmother always used to say you have two ears and one mouth for a reason <laughs> you're supposed to listen twice as much as you talk mm. And I, that is something I've taken to heart with me uh, all my life, of just being an observer. And everyone in this episode, even when the smart, you could see what she was doing and she was mimicking people and all that, they wouldn't stop talking. It's almost like they talk just to hear themselves talk. Shut up. <laughs> Somebody stop and think. You know, and it's like they jump to the wildest conclusions and then the group think happened. Mm -hmm. And that bothers me nothing. But if you look at politically, societally, especially with social media, and now we're we're very big into cancel culture, mm -hmm. this is exactly what happens. Group think. And not people that actually know. They're just people like it's just easiest for me. To, you know what? I agree with you. Yep. Whatever. Let's do whatever. You know, and you saw the the young, the young black lady, the assistant, mm -hmm. she tried to have a different voice and they instantly shut her down, even to the point where it was like, you know what, we're going to throw him out and you next. <laughs> and people was like, you know, and then self-preservation kick in and they're like, mm, yes. hold on, maybe I shouldn't, maybe yeah. I was like, you know what, mm, I'm just going, you know, not yeah. my problem. You know, yeah. even Jethro, the son, he had a different point of view, but he was afraid to speak his piece not so much that what they just said to the to the assistant but you know his mother and father was the ones that was pushing the agenda and stuff and he was just like i can't think i don't know i don't know and he even fell into it at the end where he was the one who went down there and kind of grabbed the doctor's feet yeah and it was sacrifice one mm -hmm. person which really if you go back she was the one that started it with you know yeah. what I'm saying let's throw her out she yeah. was the ringleader and then once some common sense kicked in mm -hmm. and she was like, no, what I thought at first, it's not that. And I applaud her that she had enough. She had gathered enough new information to mm -hmm. incorporate that into what she was thinking. She's like, wait a minute. I agree with it that. It ain't. No. Yeah. Like it's not what we thought it was at first. Let's rectify the situation. And nobody would listen. And she had to take into her own hands and even sacrifice her own life yeah. to save the other people. When... The biggest travesty, what we found at the end, is the woman who is the hero of the situation, the hostess. Didn't nobody even know nobody her name. Even knew her and name. the corporation and all this, they probably they won't give her a medal. They won't give her, a, uh, you know, what I'm saying they won't give her her own day. They probably they're probably covered up and won't even pay her insurance. They probably won't even, you know, what I'm saying they'll lie and tell her family that 
something mundane happened and you know it was an accident but we're not at fault so you know yeah. it is what it is you know we'll send you a card and you know a gold watch for this not even real gold yeah, no, I, I I agree with all of that. You know, I think she is probably the hostess is probably the most pivotal of all the characters, because it's one thing to be wrong, but it's another thing to be wrong but still have the capacity to take new information, and discern, make make have a new ideas off of that, and to change your mind. Whereas mm -hmm. there are many of the people uh, that were in this situation was strong wrong and stayed wrong, even with new information. Mm -hmm. You know, they just get stuck. Uh, that's that's why I kind of like put a comparison. Got I don't, don't want to go into. I don't want to go too deep in American politics. But wrong sometimes, and loud. Sometimes people will get new information that makes sense, and they still won't because they're emotionally invested, and they're just like, I don't want to change mm -hmm. my idea because I'm I'm emotionally attached. Um, there's something else I thought was kind of interesting too. Um, you don't really know somebody until you've been through some some ish with them. Like I, I believe that. Like you don't really know somebody until you've seen them under pressure. Um, mm -hmm. And I think the relationship between the professor and the and his um, I don't know his padawan assistant. His, his assistant mm -hmm. uh, is a perfect <laughs> example of that. You know she um, he I, I feel like they've known each other for quite some time. But he, she didn't really know who he was until she saw his actions under under pressure. Mm -hmm. um, we saw a lot of that, like in in COVID. Uh, for those of us who really thought they knew who who they were with, be it family, friends, spouse, brother, sister, whatever, whatever it is, when you're stuck with that person and you really get a chance to see who they are while you're under pressure, things things can change. Um, I have a I have a friend. One of, one of my best friends kind of go off the top of one of my best friends. Um, we were just okay friends, and then we got into like a full blown fight, full blown like fisticuffs. Like we, like we was going at it. We were young, 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 young men, young and dumb. Uh, I certainly don't recommend this. But after that, after that pressure situation, we had a great understanding of one another. <laughs> I mm -hmm. do not recommend it. I'm not promoting that. But and as a result of that, me and his relationship has grown considerably faster than I've had with any other with any other people because you got to know I got to know that person I feel like the people that was in this in this situation they got to know a lot about themselves because they were they were under pressure uh the couple married couple they probably learned some new things about themselves as well uh I, I said I went back to COVID I know their because, son learned a lot about them yeah son learned a lot about them you know and and if you realize that all of us went through COVID together as on, on the globe you know we learned a lot about you know the people that we love we learned a lot of, about ourselves as well because we were kind of like under pressure i don't think that's the through line but i think it's just an important thing that adds to, to the narrative of the story you're you're about to say something i think uh your 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 point about your friend was extreme and it made me it made me think of something else um because when you get back down to power dynamics right mm-hmm there's a lot of post-apocalyptic movies and TV shows that show you once the power goes out or once something happens that puts the world in a power vacuum, mm -hmm. what ends up happening is people fall back onto instinctual things. And unfortunately, it becomes survival of the fittest. It's Darwinism at its greatest. Um, and usually those, you know, people rise up as warlords. I mean, we see that in a lot of third world countries and, and um, you know, urban areas now um where people will actually even defend you know the quote unquote bad guys mm -hmm. um just because even though they are terrible they're protecting us because we have already uh you know we're already co-signed to the fact that we are weaker than than them mm -hmm. um so we need someone to protect us and really, I mean, you know, America does it better than anybody else. We are the biggest bullies on the block. You know, yes, we, we, we dare other countries <laughs> test our resolve. We'll turn your whole country to a parking lot. Keep playing with us. That is you know, very, and what really true. scares us as a country is the other smaller countries is like, oh, you won't see crazy. I show you crazy. That you know, part. Um, I, I, uh, I don't know why when you talked about your friend, this is what it reminded me of. There's a part in... I want to say the second, maybe the third Matrix movie, which is hard to remember because that one was terrible. <laughs> but there was a part in the Matrix movie where Neo was looking for the Oracle. 
and her little bodyguard dude stepped out. Mm -hmm. Um and oh, he yeah. said, listen, he said, listen, um, you know, there's like, you know, how do I know you are who you say you are? How do I know you the one? <laughs> and he said, Well, fight me and we'll see. <laughs> and then when they got through fighting, you know what I'm saying? Neo did what he did, that did what he did. He he said, Okay, yeah. I'm cool. You him, you who you say you are, <laughs> or whatever. And people were like, I remember people was like, I don't get it. And the thing is, he said, you know, he said, you never know someone until you fight them. And just because I was raised in martial arts, listen, I cannot. <laughs> and you said it's the it's the fastest way to go through a pressure cooker situation. Fight me. I will know, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not about you winning or losing. Nah. It's about it's about the resolve that you have. I was watching a movie the other yeah. night um, called fact. American Assassin. Mm -hmm. I was watching a movie called American Assassin. And, you know, and they were training for this kind of special ops. It was it was something even far, far past gone special ops for the CIA. Mm -hmm. And there was a situation where the young dude, young recruit, like everyone else was getting taken out and they had on these like VR harnesses where it would shock, shock the hell out of you once you mm -hmm. got hit. Yeah. And everybody else had got shocked, shocked, shocked. And they was tearing it off. It was like, this is BS. This is bull. And the one dude, he was getting shocked. He was getting tore up and he was still shooting, still fighting where it looked like, dude, you about to die. Like you about to <laughs> kill yourself. And he kept going. Like his resolve was finish the mission. Mm -hmm. that is not something you cannot teach that to people when i argue <laughs> when i argue people all the time about when they go jordan versus lebron <laughs> jordan would die on the court <laughs> kobe would die on the court and unfortunately we've seen lebron like mm, nope live to fight another day and it's just <laughs> He is great. Le LeBron is super great. <laughs> he ain't got what Kobe and Michael and some other people have. That there is a certain dog yeah. that you got to have in you. And he just yeah. he don't have that kind of dog. He might have a dog, but it's more Chihuahua than King Corso. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yo, my yo. Thing. I think, I think that's a good place to kind of end on this. Listen, listen, if you've been enjoying the conversation that me and Rick I have been having, yo, King Corso is a huge too. Uh, right. Yo, go ahead and be a friend of the channel. Hit that subscription button. Uh, and of course, give us that thumbs up because that's how the people know you're digging what we're giving you. And listen, if you like, and seriously, if you've been enjoying the conversation, Rakai is, is a wizard when it comes to just talking to things talking about things on a level that gives you clear understanding, or if not necessarily clear understanding, a clear new way of thinking about the the, the subject matter. Uh, Rakai, please tell the people how they get in contact with your channel. Listen, I feel like I talked long enough, so I'm gonna keep this real sh short. You know I'm doing a deep dive on this and you already see what direction I'm going. So come <laughs> come on over to hear the rest of my thoughts on this, or, you know, how I weave this. And I have a knack for taking what we saw here and also weaving my personal life into it and how I've kind of went through some of these situations or how I now view the situation that something maybe that happened to me when I was young and I didn't understand what was going on then. So come visit me. Um, you can always check for me in the uh, the pinned comment um, and even, you know, just go to my go to my page, hit the thing and, you know, hit the little icon and I'll be there. Um, N-U-P-E-F-R-O-M-D-A-V-I-L-L-E -L -L -E. because it is all about this mm -hmm. and it's all about this right you know down in here I ain't got two of them but you know what I'm saying heart heart right here <laughs> it's all about that right there Yo, I love it. Listen, don't worry if you can catch it. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, you can get to it quick. I'm um, also on, you know, I got, I got to get a shout out uh, to the Discord coming because I especially want this for the Whovians. It's going to be a great place where we can all get together and express ourselves in a more vibrant way. Uh, Patreon members, you all are going to have some even more special access to go along it's with it. Vibrant. We are still currently building. By the time this comes up, it's proud to be up. So I'll probably have a link in the description for the Discord as well. Uh, hop on in. It's all our welcomes will be tons of fun. Thank you for your time. Let us know what we got right, what we got wrong. And the phone was always, what did we miss? And we will catch you all in the next episode. Bye, Take care.
I started hearing Q-tip when you said a vibrant. It's a vibrant thing. <laughs> vibrant. 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 That. A vibrant, vibrant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>